hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and this is another session of this you know clean architecture with cqrs and mediator pattern series okay and this session actually will cover or will implement actually command okay inside that command will create you know one command like how we can implement that create create command so that you can implement you can understand okay how is that working that create command then delete command and update command but in this session we'll create implement that create block command okay and so far what we have achieved see we have achieved like you know in this series we have create architecture and then we have create a you know, domain we have implement domain layer then we have imp we have implement you know application layer and one by one step by step so in previous session we'll cover actually get block by id and then also that last previous session also will cover that get blocks uh, list of the blocks okay also we implement here you know in this common section like imapper so that whatever entity uh, domain entity we can convert to another view model okay so before proceeding i'm especially recommend to you uh, if you first time visit in my channel so um recommend to you uh, that clean architecture with domain uh, sqrs pattern and mediator one please watch that and then proceed this session then you can you can understand you know better like how we can is implement that step by step everything okay so let's get started okay so what need to do first like see in this create block in this create blog a uh, command okay so first i need to create a command okay so let me okay so first what need to do first we have to create a one command okay so how we can do that just create a class okay make it name is a create blog command okay and make it public okay and uh, similar what we have done in last session uh, simple we have to inject i request i request and then whatever our response okay so whatever our response about that block view model okay so here we can just pass it to block view but as per that you know normally we have you know written in create command obviously just you know integer like you know one whatever generated id okay so be up to you like what you want to return okay so you can just pass simply integer or you can just pass simply string whatever things okay but in this demonstration i'll just complete uh, returning to the, the that blog model and in this what is the term of view blog model just id name description author okay so it is simple and what is the request parameter we will get from the ui okay that that you uh, know uh, from ui for that you know for insert of that you know that blog what need to require we require this name uh, for that user will you know send user will send to the name what is the blog name what is the description of that blog what is the author name and what is that image url okay and uh, that actually that blog model you can go to here see the blog view model is already there so same things okay so i think here is a name description or author so we can keep it to same name description or author we can remove that image property okay so that's it the create you know command is created okay now we have to create you know one handler okay so that whatever command they can proceed via handler okay so let me create let me copy this name create block command and right click on that create a class and just paste it to over here and just adding to handler okay create block command handler okay make it to public okay now again what need to do similar thing we have to do i request handler we have to inject i request handler okay and here 
we have to pass same things again like this two overload method one is request and what is the response okay so what is our request our request is this create block command so just part pass it to create block command and just pass it to also response what we have you know what we have to return back to response so our response would be like similar block view model okay and similar similar again we have to implement that things okay so implement interface okay so now it is creating handler handle method and now we have to handle whatever our you know the business logic over here okay how we can do that simply we have to create a constructor okay ctr and then finally uh, we have to inject that our domain domain repository so where is our domain repository uh, repository see i block i block repository so call it to here if you don't know about how we can what we are doing here so definitely i recommend um, go to my previous session or you know from that project setup so definitely you can understand like why i create that dom inside the domain i repository or something okay so that is done and then what need to do we have to assign a private property and then assign in this constructor okay that is the inject you have to inject that in iblock repository so i did that and then we have to call to our method okay so what is our method to create a block so this is that method create a sync okay and in this create a sync what is expecting this is expecting see domain entity block okay but here see what is the entity it is a different entity so it will not expect it actually so what need to do we have to convert so this is that way like you know we can convert like imapper or we can directly you know just change it to that things like this way like suppose uh, for example where and just store that you know uh, entity blog entity okay and then new uh, what is that entity it is a blog entity okay and this blog entity just pass it to our parameter okay like for example what we are getting okay we have we have as a name property so we have to assign from that request that name okay similar that uh, description so in this description also request dot description and uh, let me remove that okay so that we are able to see that okay then author and author also like that request dot author okay we have not passing id because id will generate automatically so this on entity is created with this blog domain entity blog domain entity so just pass it to here okay and then uh, this is a you know a sync method so definitely we have to use that await a sync okay and finally so in this method see in this method actually repository is returning is domain entity okay so again in this domain entity what need to do we have to convert to our view model in this model okay so similar things we have to just store over here like uh, created or result you can just post up the result store as a variable as a result okay and then finally what need to do we can just map it to uh we have to use that mapping okay so how we can do that it is very simple i mapper i mapper to mapper okay which is already i implement if you don't know uh, so please my previous please watch my previous session okay and just create a private field and assign to in this here inject in the constructor level okay and then call it to here i mapper dot map okay and what is that you know destination destination would be our blog view model and what is the source source it is our result okay and finally just return as a return okay 
see just formatting okay so this is done okay so this is sufficient for this you know that create block but yeah uh, one more thing will implement in later okay not here yeah so so that that validation part okay see whatever request we are getting from ui we are not validating we are directly actually might be could be you know could be that you know could be that command so this is our command so might be could be user send this command is as a null or you know empty something like that okay so that we will we will you know create some you know some common we will implement some common logic okay and that will actually will you we need to use for that you know fluent api uh, package okay so that package will help to uh, you know validate our entity whatever user is sending so we can prevent okay if it is user name sending is empty or something or whatever validation we require so we can set via that fluent api so that will do in later okay first we'll just cover you know everything like create delete update then finally we'll show you how you can validate with the fluent api so that will uh, it will do in the upcoming session okay so till now it is fine so let me build so that we can make sure everything is working fine okay so now see build is succeed and also it is running perfectly okay so that is done for that create blog implementation okay and later on and then next video uh, will actually uh, implement that update part okay i create a uh, i just implement here create and then will implement the update okay so till now thank you have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe